This video explains how to convert a pandas data frame column from the data type string to the data type float in the Python programming language. So without much talk, let's dive into the Python code. As a very first step, we need to import the pandas library, as you can see in the first line of code. And then we also need to create an example data frame using the data frame constructor. So after running these lines of code, a new data frame called data is created. And we can print this data frame below the code box using the print function. And then you can see that we have created an example data frame containing six rows and the three columns x1, x2 and x3. You can also see that all these columns contain numbers. However, if we check for the data types of these columns, as you can see in the third code box, you can see that currently all the columns in our data frame have the data type string. Now let's assume that we want to convert only one of the columns in our data frame to the float data type. Then we first can create a copy of our data frame to keep an original version of our data frame, as you can see in the next line of code. And then in this case, I want to convert the column x1 to the float data type. And for this, I'm subsetting this column. And then I specify that I want to convert this column to the data type float. And for this, I'm using the function s type. So after running this line of code, our data frame is updated, as you can see by checking for the data types once again. So after running this line of code, you can see that the data type of the first column x1 was changed to the float data type. We can also change the data type of multiple columns in our pandas data frame. As in the previous example, I'm first creating a copy of our data frame because I want to keep an original version of the data frame. And then in the next step, I use the sType function. However, this time I specify within the sType function that I want to change the data type of two columns. So in this case of the columns x2 and x3, and both of these columns should be converted to the float data type. So after running these lines of code, our new data frame, data new2, is updated. And you can see that by checking the data types of this new data frame using the dtypes attribute. And then you can see that this time we have kept the data type of the first column x1. However, we have changed the data types of the columns x2 and x3 to the data type float. We can also change all the columns in our data frame, as you can see in the next example. So once again, I'm first creating a copy of our data frame, and then I apply the sType function to our entire data frame. And I specify that all columns in our data frame should be changed to the float data type. So after running these lines of code, our data frame is once again updated. However, this time all the columns have the data type float. In the previous examples, I have always used the function s type to convert our columns from string to float. However, it's also possible to use the to numeric function, as you can see in the next example. So once again, I'm creating a copy of our data frame, and then I apply the to numeric function of the pandas library to one of the columns in our data frame. So in this case, to the column x1. And then I check the data types of our data frame columns. And as you can see, the to numeric function can also be used to change the data type of a column to float. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.